Hey guys, what's up? Brent Calmer from Blue Water VST. I want to give you a quick tip today on using Twisted Tools Rolodex Multi Effect Unit for Reactor. This is a very slick ensemble. Twisted Tools has bundled together a beat slicer, flanger, filter, delay, and reverb in a very slick and intuitive and musical kind of interface here. It's very fun to work with, but one of the coolest parts about it is that it allows you to connect an external effect. And this has intrigued a lot of people, but a lot of people have also found it somewhat confusing. So I thought I'd do a tutorial to show you exactly how to do this. And uh, I think you're going to find it much easier than, than probably you thought. In any case, I've just loaded Rolodex, and it's loaded with a default snapshot. And the default snapshot is taking audio from the beat looper that's down here. As you may or may not know, uh, Rolodex comes kind of with its own, its own onboard uh, sample player. And it has a, just a ton of great content included. So if I just launch it here and I start uh, I start the system clock, here's what I hear. So it's kind of a nice ambient techno groove. What I wanted to use is something a little slower, maybe kind of more of a down tempo vibe. So I'm going to dial in a sample I like in this sample uh, with this sample control. I can either turn the knob here or I can just dot or I can just double click and actually enter the number. Another one I want is 72. And uh, it sounds like this. Now this one uh, in the sample information tells me it's it's designed at 85 uh, beats per minute. So I'm going to set my reactor clock to that same tempo. And then we'll hear this. It's kind of a nice lazy hip hop groove. And uh, we're not actually hearing the effect of any of these units. Not the slicer, flanger, none of them because we're just using the default snapshot. The slicer is active, but it's actually playing the audio in sequence, so it's not it's not uh, changing it up at all. So what I'm going to do is come over here to this EXT. I click on this to open up the parameters, and I want to make sure to click on the power button to turn it on. And in an act of generosity, Twisted Tools has included their stretch unit from, from the Buff Eater Ensemble. This is a very cool granular stretch function. So if you just uh, turn on external, this is what you'll hear. Some nice textures there. So don't don't just blow by this. This is a very slick effect. It was great of them to include it. But you see above, we have this double click background to add your own effects. And so if I double click on this, what it's going to do is take me into the precise level of reactor where I need to be to uh, switch out the stretch effect for something else of my choosing. So I'm going to double click here. And then it takes me, as you notice in the breadcrumb trail, it takes me all the way down to this level. Here we have our stretch effect. And what I'm going to do is just delete this. And then I'm going to right click and bring up our context menu. Now you can use either macros or instruments here as your external effect. If you use macros, you want to make sure to set them to mono to ensure compatibility with, uh, with Rolodex. This is mentioned in the manual. It's, um, it, won't, it doesn't mean that the output will be in mono, it just, it just ensures compatibility. So that's just the side note. I'm going to use, however, an instrument that I like called Echo Mania, which is kind of a delay unit that uh, produces some crazy textures. So I'm going to go to Instrument, Effects, oops, and uh, Echo Mania here. And then I bring it in. Just need to connect the ins and outs. So I'm going to click and drag from the left in over here. Do the same for the outs. And then I can just click right back on our panel view instead of you know backing all the way out. Just click on Panel. What you'll notice now is that Rolodex is still here, but we also have Echo Mania off to the side. And... Uh, I'm going to collapse the side pane here to give us more room to work with, and then I'm going to drag this uh, Echo Mania unit down below Rolodex. And in fact, where it's going to go is below this uh, middle section here and actually above the beat looper, so fits in nicely there. And now, we have this uh, active, it's live, and now we're going to hear the loop through Echo Mania with Echo Mania's uh, first snapshot. Here we go. So uh, I think you'll agree that Spooky Resonance is an ideally named snapshot. Has some nice kind of faraway textures there. And of course, you can use any of these snapshots uh, and dial in your own even. Uh, let's see, a clean delay snapshot would sound like this. That's very cool. 
The true power of this, though, is not just that you can add your own effect. You can, in fact, automate the effect from within Rolodex using these modulation uh, lanes below. So if I click on Mod 1, I'm going to activate this. And then to access the uh, modulation source and destination parameters, I need to come up here to the Rolodex instrument and click on the A panel view. We're now in the B panel view. If I click on the A panel view, then it brings up my source and destination controls. And so we have these three different sections that we can use to modulate or really automate parameters. What I'm going to do here is uh, illustrate how you might use this by, you know, turning on, turning up the effect maybe at the last four beats of your sequence. So for source one, I want mod one, which is this. IC send is great. That's the way that it's going to communicate the information to Echomania. And then to the destination, I want to dial in Echomania. Oops. And mix. And this is going to precisely come down here to this mix setting. And I want to set it to kind of crank the mix in the last part of the uh, last part of the, of the sample. So I'm going to come down here and draw in kind of increasing effect here. And uh, now here's what we have. So you see on the, on the first pass through it was still using the effect, but now when it's cycling through, the effect is only being applied at this, por at this uh, portion of the loop. Oh god, I love that. It's very dubby texture. And uh, no reason you can't get in here and just really go nuts with this. Short delay. So. I think this is just an immense amount of fun to use, and uh, I think Rolodex is a fantastic ensemble. Twisted Tools really does a great job of making their stuff not only powerful, but very musical and fun to play with, and it really taps the best of what Reactor's about. Uh, these guys are, are really working at a high level. I encourage you to go check their stuff out. Um, I've heard great things about all their ensembles, but I hope this has been helpful to you, and I hope if you're using Rolodex, you'll, you'll give this a shot. And of course, if you have Rolodex Pro, you can use Rolo EXT, which gives you really just almost infinite, you know, practically infinite number of uh, modulation possibilities and, and effects connections. It's really it's just a lot of fun to work with. It'll kind of blow your mind. Anyway, I hope this has been enlightening. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use. Get into it and explore, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care, guys.